Hi, so for question four, we have the following circuit and we need to use the battery plus resistance model for the diodes and then find the voltage VA. Now for the battery plus resistance model, we have that each diode is represented by the following uh, IV characteristic curve. Okay, so we have to obtain the, the value of the battery and the resistance from this graphic. Okay. So that, let's start with that, and then we substitute those values for the diodes in, in the circuit, and then we analyze the circuit. So from this IV curve, we know that VD okay, is 0 0.5 volts. Why is that? Because we need at least 0 0.5 volts for the diode to start conducting current. If the voltage across the diode is less than 0 0.5 volts, then it doesn't conduct anything, so it's 0 0.5 volts. Now, if we are using like the resistance model, we are going to represent this, uh, this exponential curve here using just like a linear curve. So we are going to represent that using a curve like this, right? And the slope of that curve is represented by the, the, the RD, the resistance that we have. So we calculate RD as the difference between the voltage, so it's 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 divided by the difference in current. So the difference in current, when we have 0 0.6, we have 4 milliamperes. When we have 0 0.5, we have 0 amperes. So this gives us a, a resistance, a diode resistance, that it's 25 ohms. So those are the two values that we need to use in the battery plus resistance model for each one of the diodes in the circuit. Okay, so we replace those diodes. Okay, we replace those diodes. Where whatever we have a diode, we replace that for a battery and a resistance. And I just keep the diodes just to make sure that we remember where the diodes are located. So this entire thing here is the voltage across the diode because now we have 25 ohms here and 0 0.5 volts there. Okay, so this entire, like, if you have like a current, there is like some voltage drop caused by the current flowing through these 25 ohm here. Okay, so we just need to replace that in the circuit. So if let me let me zoom in here. So for the first diode here, you would have a battery here, right? And a resistor. Same thing here. So we have a battery here and the resistor. And same thing here. So we have a resistor and then a battery. So this is the circuit that we have. Now we need to apply KVL uh, on those two loops, right? So we can apply KVL here and here. And then we figure out at the end the current that are flowing through each diodes and see if they are actually on or off. So let's get started with this analysis. So let's say this is I1 and this is I2, right? So in the first loop we have minus 8 volts plus 0 0.5 volts from the first diode plus the current I1 times 25 plus 100 times I1 and then we have plus 25 times I1 minus I2 right across the resistance of the diode 2 then we have minus 0 0.5 volts plus I1 times 25 from diode 3 plus 0 0.5 
from diode 3. That's equals to 0. That's our first equation, right? Now for the second loop, we have 300 times I2 minus 2 volts plus 100 times I2 plus 0 0.5 plus 25 times now I2 minus I1 and that's equals to 0 because we got back to the, to the gain node there. So this is our first equation and this is our second equation. Okay, So we can write this in the matrix form. So we can group the terms that are multiplying I1 here, 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 and here. So if we sum 100 plus 25, 25, 25, so this gives us, so let me go here, so in the matrix form, this gives us 175 for I1, and for I2 we only have minus 25 here, right? So it's just minus 25. For the second equation, we have minus 25 for I1 right here. And then for I2, we have 300 here, plus 100 here, plus 25 here. So it's 100, 425. That multiplies I1 and I2. And that's equals to the constant terms on the right-hand side. So we have minus 8. So minus 8 plus 0 0.7, 0 0.5, it's minus 7.5. Minus 0 0.5, it's minus 7. Uh, sorry, it's minus 8. Plus 0 0.5, it's minus 75. Minus 0 0.5, it's minus 8 again. Plus 0 0.5 it's minus 7.5 goes to the right hand side as 7.5 and for the second equation we have minus 2 plus 0 0.5 this is minus 1.5 goes to the right hand side as 1.5 so this is the system of equations that we have to solve so if we solve this one here we get uh, it's 43.73 milliamperes and I2 is 6.1 Milliamperes. Now let's get back to the circuit and see what are the currents that are flowing through the diodes. So in at diode 1 we have just I1 flowing, right? So this one here, I1, this one there, I1, clockwise. Now in diode 2 we have I1, right, minus I2 flowing through that. So let's see. So for diode 1, so I diode 1 is equals I diode 3, which is equals to I1, which is equals to 43.73 milliamperes. That's okay. They are both on, right? Now, for I diode 2, we have I1, right, minus I2. That is around 37.62 milliamperes. Now, this is not okay, right? The value I1 minus I2 is positive. So, it indicates that indeed we have a current flowing in this direction here, right? I1 minus I2 going downwards diode 2 but diode 2 blocks current in flow in that direction so we have to make it off and reanalyze the circuit so let's just uh, erase this I2 and I1 let's remove the diode here so this one here doesn't 
we don't have that anymore in the circuit. So let me just erase it here. Let's start with at this point here. So we have minus 8 plus 0 0.5 plus I times. Now if you look at the circuit, we have all the resistors in series, right? So it's just this current I flowing through all the resistors. So it's going to be I times. We have 25 ohms from the first diode, 100 ohms, 300 ohms, 100 ohms again, and then 25 ohms from the diode 3. So this sums up to 300, 400, 500, right? Plus 25 from diode 1, plus 25 from the diode 3. This sums up to 550 ohms, right? And then we still have the voltage 2 volts, so it's minus 2 volts, plus 0 0.5 from diode 3. That should be equal to 0. Okay, so if we isolate I, we have minus 8 minus 2 gives us minus 10 volts, plus 1 volt, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. So this gives us minus 9, goes to the right hand side, 9 volts, divided by 550 ohms. So the value of this current is 16.36 milliamperes. And this current is positive, so it agrees with the direction that we adopted in the circuit, so it means that indeed diode 1 and diode 3 are on. Okay, so indeed diode 1 and diode 3 are on. Now what about VA? So VA is going to be equals to, let's start here, and let's assume we have the ground here, right? Because we are like a nodal voltage, right? So if we measure that, it's going to be, and if we assume that we have the ground here, where I just draw, that it's 8. So it's 8 minus 0 0.5 from the diode minus the voltage drop across the 25, so it's I times 25 ohms minus the voltage drop across the 100 ohms and then we reach it VA here so this means that VA is equals to 5.45 volts and that's it for this problem